This video will cover how to change the oil pressure sensor for this 2002 3.5 Chevy Vortec engine. There's little variations between different vehicles, manufacturers and models, but this video can be a guide to get the job done on any engine. The oil pressure gauge not working at all is a sign that your oil pressure sensor is not working if the needle is just sitting there. So the materials needed for this is an oil pressure sensor, an oil pressure sensor deep socket made for your specific pressure sensor. You need some thread sealing if needed on your pressure sensor unless you have a washer. The socket size is 1 and 1 16th. You need a wrench set, ratchet set with a universal joint on both sides. This is the type we use and I'll put the links below for more information on this. The ratchet is a 3 8 drive. First thing, locate the oil pressure sensor. It's most often mounted in the engine block or the cylinder heads. On this 2002 3.5 Vortec engine, the sensor is between the firewall on top of the engine block. It's a little hard to get to, but it can easily be done with the right tools and without having to take a whole bunch of these things that are in the way. We just need to take this plastic engine cover off and we should be able to get to it. There's no real industry standard for the position, so the sensor can be mounted in any number of locations. If you are unable to locate the oil pressure sensor, you may need to consult a repair manual or consult a professional repair technician. I'll just look it up online. So, we unplug the oil pressure sensor electrical connector. Okay. Release the retaining tab on the electrical connector and gently pull the connector out of the sensor. Note that in some situations, a little spray lube can help to remove the electrical connector. You can also use a small screwdriver to gently pry the connector free. Be careful not to damage the electrical connector while removing it. On this one, the whole boot came out as we pulled on the uh, plug. It goes to show you this one's bad. Maybe that's why it's not working. And if you look at the new one, you can see part that came out, the black boot came out of the uh, metal socket there, which is no big deal. As long as the uh, electrical socket is in good condition, it's intact, it looks like it is. So we go on to the next step. Remove the oil pressure sensor with the appropriate wrench and socket I spoke about before. Loosen the oil pressure sensor. It's advised to clean the area before you start the uninstalling because the oil pressure sensor is exposed to the elements under the hood. Over time, debris can build up around the plug. Avoid at all costs debris to fall in the exposed hole in the block after taking off the old sensor. Once loose, it should be possible to unscrew it the rest of the way by hand. Compare the replacement oil pressure sensor to the one removed. This is all determined by the internal construction, but the physical dimension should be the same. This one is a little longer by the threaded area, but will fit anyway, according to the dealer. Just be sure the uh, section that threads in is the same diameter and has the same thread pitch. A warning is because the oil pressure switch is mounted into a location that will have pressurized oil, it is normally necessary to have some type of thread sealer. This one has a washer, so we don't have to worry about it, as I mentioned before. Now, install the replacement oil pressure sensor. Thread the replacement into place by hand until you can no longer turn it. Finish tightening it with the appropriate socket. It's suggested to go slow with these universal joints, or today they call them wobbles, because they're not meant for fast speed. You gotta give it time to do its revolution, because you wanna be careful with the electrical socket on top of the valve itself, not to get it damaged. Finish tightening it, and there it is, installed. Without the electrical connector on yet. Reinstall the electrical connector and be sure that the connector seats fully. And now, the moment of truth. 
start the engine and check to see that there is oil pressure on the gauge or that the oil pressure warning light goes out. It can take 5 to 10 seconds for the oil pressure to build back up. This is because removing the oil pressure sensor will let a small amount of air into the system that needs to be purged. If the oil pressure is not observed within this time or the light does not go out, shut the engine off immediately. Also, if there are any odd noises during this time, turn the engine off and consult a professional. To a minor degree, the oil pressure sensor and gauge light can be used to inform the driver of the health of the oiling system. As the oil begins to break down, it is possible for the oil pressure to drop. This pressure drop is detected by the oil pressure sensor and relayed to the gauge or warning light on the instrument cluster. The old mechanics rule of thumb for oil pressure was 10 psi of oil pressure for every 1000 rpms. Without proper oil pressure the engine will fail and it is not a matter of if but when. So make sure this repair is done immediately and effectively. Our oil pressure is much lower than it has to be. It's below 40. It should be over 40 once it's warmed up and all. We already know that we need a replacement of an oil pump. And while we're at it, we're going to be doing a, a water pump as well and uh, all the gaskets and so on and so forth, which will be another video. I hope this helps someone out there. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and check out the links for all the parts that we used in this video, including tools. You all have a great day.